So I'm at the halfway point of my eight week cut and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a progress update and just show you um, exactly what that looks like. So what I've done is I've started by just measuring my progress with another DEXA scan and I've also filmed myself to get some visual feedback so I can see visual progress as well. And so what the scan is telling me is that I've lost approximately one and a half kilograms of body fat in the first four weeks, which I'm actually pretty happy with. And my total body weight is down almost three kilograms. Now, according to the scan, it also says that I have lost approximately 800 grams of lean mass. And that's something I'm not overly worried about and I'm gonna explain why. So the reason I'm not too concerned about this decrease in lean mass is because the scan registers anything that is not fat tissue as lean mass. So it can be just water weight. It can also be um, glycogen in muscle or in liver, uh, which is basically stored carbohydrate in the body. It can also just be undigested food. So it's nothing to really worry about acutely. So if this happened like multiple times in a row, then it would be, okay, maybe I am losing muscle or something like that. But like over one small point in time, it could just be a drop in water weight. So it's nothing that I'm really gonna worry about. Um, and this is an important point I really wanted to make in this video is that the results don't happen in a linear fashion. So what I've done to demonstrate this further is basically I've tracked my weight every single day over the last month just so I can provide a little bit more clarity over exactly what I'm talking about. So you can see that even though my weight's dropped, there is quite a few fluctuations here. So it's going up and down and up and down, but the overall trend is down. And that's something that's really important is that you don't wanna to get too emotionally attached to any one particular data point. You wanna pay more attention to the overall trend. That's so much more important because if I reacted every time I saw it go up, then I'd just be in this constant state of panic thinking that things aren't working. But it's such a bad strategy to do that um, because the numbers are constantly changing and it's all part of just a bigger trend that is more important to pay attention to. And so I don't really care as much about what's happening day to day or even sometimes week to week. What I'm more concerned about is what is happening over a more consistent period of time. And then even then, if I'm not progressing forward as fast as I want or even progressing backwards, then that still doesn't bother me too much because I know that I'm getting this constant feedback from assessing this data. And if something's not working, I'll make changes. And following that process, I know that if I keep doing that, I'm eventually gonna hit my goal. And so I think it's important to, if you're gonna take a lot of data and you really need to be able to emotionally detach yourself from each individual data point. So I wouldn't recommend everybody do this, but I do it because I guess I've got a lot of experience doing this and I can see very clearly what's happening. So I can look at the trends in the data and I can just map out that track and see what's happening. And if I get good points or bad points, it doesn't really affect me because I know how to follow the process and get results. And so that's one of the key points that I wanted to touch on. But um, yeah, so far I would say that I'm pretty happy at the halfway point. I'm on track to achieving my goal. And my initial goal was to get down below 10% body fat and also lose a total of four kilos of body weight or more. And I think I'm on track to doing that.